AM broadcast stations must have a ground plane under their tower, and that means a, some form of conductive wire system, and for uh, some 80 years, it's been the tradition to put these wires into the ground, about four to six inches in the ground. Most of them are built with 120 wires, a quarter wavelength long, which is basically the same as a tower height. Uh, so this is quite expensive, both for the price of the wire and also it is quite expensive for the labor that is required to plow this wire into the soil. We manufacture a product called an elevated radial system where the wires are up in the air and instead of needing 120 wires, only six wires are needed. And this has solved many problems for a lot of our customers. Uh, this pro this uh, was proven to be the case uh, using the new uh, numerical electromagnetic computation system developed by the United States Navy out in Monterey, California. One of the, uh, an engineer in Ohio developed this system or analyzed it via computer and uh, it turns out it works very well. Early in the history of broadcasting they had what was called a counterpoise which meant that there were elevated wires but they were grounded out at the ends and the computer program showed that this is a mistake you need to insulate the wires out at the ends. And we can provide all of the materials to build an elevated radial system. Uh, it's worth noting that we use copper weld wire, which is a uh, steel wire with a copper coating on the outside. And bear in mind that RF currents are very thin on the wire, skin effect, uh, so that all of the RF current is in the copper and none is in the steel where it would be lossy.